Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you today how to upload your paint files to Trading Paints for iRacing. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to do is go to tradingpaints.com. Um, once you do that, you uh, go to you can go to My Paints. I don't normally do that. I just go to Showroom, and I go to Upload. Upload to Showroom. Once you do that, um, you click here, select the file. Uh, you go to documents, iRacing paint, and then here's the files of all the cars. You just go to the car that you painted or you're going to upload to. You do here, and then it's uploaded. Uh, if you got a sent by an email, you just take the file. You can drag it and drop it right here over. Um, once that's done, you have right here it says add spec map. Uh, that's like in metallic colors or anything like that. If it comes with one, if it comes with one, you click there. You click here. And then that's your MIP file. That's uploaded. And once that's done, it says who can race with this paint. You can choose the community. If you choose community, you have to tell about the vehicle, the title, description, car number, if it's SIM stamped or custom numbers, uh, the picture of the car, the number font, colors, and colors of the rim and rim wheel style. Public, unlisted approval. Public, you can only choose that if you're not pro and then you just click add to showroom and then anyone can raise your paint um, but for here we're gonna go just me we're gonna click the, our vehicle style which is Chev Cup uh, sim stamp or custom if you have custom you need to make sure you click here if you click sim stamp it will always show a um, iRacing stamp number so we got custom on this paint and you need to cut the custom number five now once that's done, you need to go to iRacing and go into a test drive if you want. Go into the settings. Once you go into the settings, you go to options. And then at the very bottom, you will see hide car number. You have to have that click for in order for it to show your custom number and to not show SIM stamp numbers. Once you have that done, you just go to, um, that's how you would see it obviously. But once you have everything done on your trading paints, you need to upload to My Paints. Once you do that, you go to My Paints. You can go to get your showroom. Once you go to your showroom, here's the pa uh, paint file that I was uploading. You have to click Race this paint. Once that's done, um, your car is there, and you will be able to see it on track. You need to go into a test it lobby or host it. Race it a little bit, get out of your car, and you will see the paint scheme, numbers, and all that stuff. So this has a custom number and all that, and uh, you can do driver suit, helmet, all that stuff. But uh, it's a pretty fun thing. Um, other than that, uh, I think that's all you need to know for trading paints. Here's my showroom. Every now and then I put other people's cars in here. But uh, other than that, we're done, and if you have any more anything else you'd like to know maybe something you need to learn in painting I use Photoshop Pro um, anything just comment if my comments is on if not just send me a message over on Facebook and we'll get a video done for you uh, other than that we'll catch you on the track